Welcome back to Beauty and the Beast. Well, we all love the gossip pages, don't we? All love reading the newspapers and the magazines and finding about all the gossip and all that sort of stuff. And one person that writes a lot of gossip around Australia is Joe Casamento, and you've got some interesting things to tell us. Yes, I've been dying to get this one off my chest, Dan. Especially, and I think it's you've got particularly. A nice chest too. Oh. How did I know he's going to bring it down to that level? Well, anyway, I want to say that I am sick and tired of reluctant celebrities who claim they want to maintain a private life and yet at every possible opportunity, particularly where money is involved, they can't wait to shove it down the public's throats. I mean, take Stan Grant and Tracy Holmes, who have come out with yet another exclusive interview, this time it's with the Women's Weekly, so they can invite readers into their private lives, they can kiss and cuddle and canoodle on the lounge and do all that sort of stuff in their private home, and yet as soon as something happens that the media begins to chase, they don't want to talk about it. I think if you want to re remain anonymous, you can. There are plenty of celebrities who maintain a semblance of a private life. I say if you want to have a life outside of the public eye, it is very possible. There are great examples of this. Colin Friels, Judy Davis, all those sort of people. But if you're going to t do the deal with the devil on the fame side, it is a double-edged sword and you have to take the flip side of it on the chin. You sound like you're really jealous that you missed out on the story. On what story? On the story. We didn't. I, I, I don't know if you read the paper today, but yes, we didn't. Yes, I know, but you missed out on the big story there. No, I don't know if you remember the Daily Telegraph actually yes, broke the story. I know, instead. I know, but that was just a few page, a few lines rather. Oh, I mean, what? what we're talking about is a big story about finding out all the details, what they may be going to call the baby, etc., etc. Oh, no, I don't really care about that. That was just an example. I'm talking about celebrities but I mean, in general. But People okay. like Russell Crowe, right. who 10 years you ago were desperate to get their names in the column. In fact, he fired one of his publicists or severely berated her because he couldn't get his name in our column. That's yeah. 10 years ago. 10 years on, he doesn't want a bar of it. And he says, oh, I hate fame. I just want to act and I want to be really serious and blah, 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 blah. You mm. can do that if you want to. So what are you, you know, angry, people... what are you angry at them for? I'm just are you angry, angry at Hang on. Are you angry for them because they didn't ring you up and say, no. listen, uh, we want to give you the no, story? No, are you angry? when they go on national television and go, oh my gosh, it's horrible. We're being persecuted. I mean, you don't have to be those, you don't have to invite people into your house. Sell your wedding. If you sell your wedding, you're asking people to want to know about your private relationship, to know when he proposed. When he, you, you're asking people, the public, to buy magazines and watch you on television to do that. So I think you've just got to. I just think you have to expect the opposite when you say get a divorce. You've got to expect that the public's going to want to know about that as well. All right, Tara, all you I'm agree saying. or disagree with that? I think Joe's right. I think Joe's absolutely right. Um, people, if they're in the public eye, they make those choices. Uh, I've made those choices and. And it, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you regret the choices that you make, but you make them and you have to pay for that. And See, there yeah. is some great, Tara's a great example of someone who knows the game. I mean, there are people out there, Catherine Zeta Jones on a bigger scale. But she um, plays you all off, off a breakdown. Yeah, but that's she how it works. She only has to pick up the she telephone understands. and say to you, this is what I'm doing today, and you or, write it up. Or they phone me yeah. and say, and we're doing accessible. a story and we would like to she's get accessible. a quote from you about some issue. Yeah, and if we hear a rumour, she's accessible, so we can ring her and she can say, oh, that is complete hogwash, and yeah. we won't write it. And we'll mm. say, these rumours are complete hogwash. I, I've rung Fiona on a, one occasion, a particular rumour, <laughs> and she said it was complete hogwash, and we wrote that. Well, she hasn't had sex before. Four months. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it was. We've both thought about that a lot, haven't we? Yeah. 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 So I mean, I'm just saying that people have to expect the flip side. Say, it is important to recognise, though, that not all people in the media are fair. Yeah. Okay. No, I understand so that. when you take this on, you expect a certain amount of fairness. You would hope, and sometimes they are nasty to the point where mm. it is unnecessary. So I think you have to realise mm. everyone's doing their job. Joe's you, doing her job, I'm doing yeah. mine, and we can be fair to each other and that's fine. Yeah. Sometimes... But okay, but if you are in the public eye mm. and you wanted to get a story out and yeah. you, it's a big moment like this, having mm. your first baby, etc., yeah. um, isn't it better to, uh, to choose the media that you're going to go through and, you know, some people say, oh, it's terrible to get paid money for it. No, but it's better I mean, to yeah. choose it. It's because better to choose they will, it. They will get it anyway. They will get the story yeah. anyway. They mm. will put it out. Very they will get the shots. candid shots where you're walking down the beach or or whatever. It's better to just come out and say, hey, this is the person that I'm in love with and isn't this great. And fine, it's good. It's good for people to see happy news in the papers. And you can okay. choose which Fiona? news you want to. Well, I, I think, um, you know, when you're working in the public profile, it's your uh, public you know, a arena, um, it's part of the job and one of the reasons that, that celebrities, for want of a better word, um, get can demand huge money for stories and things is because they only have a job if the public are interested in them and they should respect that. And um, as much as it is unfortunate that sometimes really unpleasant things are written, um, it is good to take control of the media and present your own story on your own terms when you're, when you're in this position, when this is what you do for a living. But the only reason we have a job is because the public are interested in what we do. If, you, if you're operating at that sort of level, you know, like 
uh, as, a, as a media oriented person. Okay, Prue? I think we have to look at where the barriers are. I can remember a, a very well known, a very famous Australian television performer and there was a report that uh, that person, I won't say the gender, was having an affair and I remember that <laughs> there were media who were hiding in bushes. Um, staking uh, this person and the so-called lover out for months. Now, where do you draw the line on all of this? And I think that sometimes the, the, the barrier is overstepped. I agree with what Joe's saying. I think that if you want to exploit the media for your own devices, then you have to accept that they will exploit you at times. But sometimes I think we just go a little bit too far. Okay, um, Rebecca. Well, I think you, you can choose which bits of you you're going to sort of shove in, in the public's faces. And I think there are people that we know well who are wonderful actors and, and very much in the, the scene and talked about, but we don't know anything about their kids mm, and, and we've never seen... That. And they mm. choose that. And I think, and I respect that, and I think that's mm. wonderful that they've chosen to be involved in the business and be involved to the extent they have to, but they've chosen what to expose mm. and what not okay. to. And kids, I think, is one that you should keep I think it's an interesting issue because I think there is a whole gossip industry, if you like. There's a whole yeah. process by which... We love to we all feed. read gossip, don't we? Yeah, and it feeds on itself and you've got the A-lists, you've got the parties, you've got the, you know, the PR people, you've got all of that. And I mean, that all happens. And if you're part of that, you accept it. Mm. If you're not part of that, you dip out of it. But all I can say in relation to the media generally that sometimes, I mean, a lot of women complain, particularly feminists complain, they get a bad deal out of the media. Mm. I haven't very often. And I think it's partly because... I understand what goes on mm. and I, you know, there's a set of expectations and sometimes you give people what I call a feral feminist bit because that's what they want. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that there is a, a sense in which people can't decide that they're going to flirt with the media in, the, mm. in that full sense of, you know, of titillating them about something and then withdrawing and I think that's when Look, people start getting into trouble. We have some good journalists and some bad journalists mm. and I can remember a time when I went uh, through some bad financial uh, problems 11, 12 years ago and a couple of journalists rang me up and I said, look, I just don't really want to talk about it. I said, look, if you want to go ahead and write, write about it, write about it. But I said, I'm not going to be happy about it doing it. Mm. And God bless their little souls, they didn't mm. mention a word. Now, I've spoken about that many times in the past. Um, and because I think it's a good, it's a good story to tell mm. people about how, yes, you can be down on the bones of your ass and sort of lift yourself up again and do well. And, you know, the other thing that I'm jealous of, if they're getting $100,000, <laughs> I'm going to ring the Woman's Weekly up after this and see if they'll do a story on me for 100000 bucks. I want the money. Are you pregnant? Show, yes, I am, as a matter of fact. I'm about to give birth. <laughs>